Well, it's five o'clock in the morning. Went inside and used the bathroom. And these, <laughs> these guys are idiots. This. This guy parked right here. Let me walk the. This guy parked right here, and this is the only way out. The entire truck stop. Literally can't get out in any other way. The pumps come out here and everything. And it's this narrow little corridor that go through. And that's it. What an idiot. <laughs> They're out of Chicago too. I looked them up. And he decided to park there. And the funny part is, if you look, there's probably 30 or 40 spots open. Oh, let me wipe my lens again. I just walked out of the truck so the, lens, the camera's cold so the lens is fogging up. Yeah, and they decide to park there. This guy too. Or Tempo Freight or whatever it is. It's just amazing nowadays what trucking's turned into. But truck parking's a lot harder to get at the same time. Back in the day, you'd be able to get truck parking pretty easy with uh, um, there was just there wasn't that many truck drivers out on the road and then there was a lot more mom and pop places to stay mom and pop places all died off because of money so now really the only truck parking you have in the modern age is the big places and the big places don't build very big truck stops relative to how many trucks are on the road. So there's been a big initiative to get more truck parking and states in general are making more truck parking, which is nice, more rest areas and stuff like that. And I'm hoping all that stuff's gonna end up working out pretty well. Um, even like truck parking with no bathrooms a lot of people would use that as well. So just pull off areas. But it, you know, it just, modern trucking just kind of is what it is. The, the truck driver nowadays only cares about himself. There's no community, there's no reason why you should look out for the other guy, nothing. That guy parked there probably because he's too new to be able to um, back into a parking spot and he doesn't think about anyone else other than himself. But we're not sitting in our our um, camping chairs anymore hanging out. There's not people barbecuing. There's not people being parked in the back and all, you know, BSing and, you know, all that anymore. All that stopped. That stopped seven, eight, nine, ten years ago. So the guys parked next to each other don't care about each other anymore. I can't, I can't remember the, or I can remember the time. I can remember the time if you were sitting next to a truck driver, you would end up talking. That's just how it goes. You know, if you sit next to him at a diner, you would end up talking when the guy would be sitting parked next to you like this and you'd have the truck shut off and the window down because it was a little warmer out and you would start bullshitting. You know, people would start hanging out at a spot, you know, just in the corner somewhere and then someone else would go get a chair and then another person would get a chair next thing you know there's 15 people all with ca their camping chairs because everyone brought camping chairs with them just hanging out you know it was a community back then and i think all that's gone with modern trucking you know they uh the driver just is in it just to uh make a paycheck and that's it really sad and that kind of that kind of example shows because look there's eight spots right in my eye line and he decided to block the only entry and exit into this place just yeah but i have the puppy and i'm getting ready to leave i'm gonna start my pre-trip right now and then we'll head to memphis and go drop this load off well, I ran over to Memphis, dropped that load off, reloaded the scrap, and now I'm sitting over here in Moralton waiting to go into the dock. Hopefully they're going to call me soon. 
Um, then I'm reloading and then coming back uh, or going back to Michigan. So I'm going to end up probably being here a couple more hours, I think, by the time they get me unloaded and then reloaded. So we'll just see how it goes. I'm waiting. Puppy sleeping. Well, I'm back in Russellville for the night. We got the puppy. He's been asking to go potty for the last little bit. Now I can go potty. There's a RGN oh, sitting here. Hey, come on. Pigs. We're at Lynn's eating. Had to come here. We closed in an hour, and luckily enough, I got here in enough time where we could run over here. But I eat, I eat pho, and then you eat. Yum, yum, chicken. So happy at least we can run over here. So we dropped Pem Pem off with his brother, sister, and his new brother, but Brody's his literal brother, um, actual siblings. And then Molly's just adopted and Loki's adopted. But I dropped him off there and then uh, ran over here and actually got my laundry started, at least. Hey, what do you know? Thank you. My favorite thing in the whole world. Thank you. Yeah. Hmm? So this is fun. Fun is very, very good for you. Well, I hope I got everything I need. Maybe. We'll see. It's pretty easy for me to stop and go to Walmart, working for this company. I'm not super pressed for time all the time. So it works out pretty good. But now we're gonna head back to the truck. Only get like two hours with you. Well, Ashley just left. Pim Pim's back. Got all this stuff together, all the stuff put away. It's uh, 10 o'clock at night. I'm usually in bed like three hours ago, but now I'm just about to lay down. It's going to be an uh, interesting day tomorrow, to say the least, but I have a puppy, and that's what matters. So, we'll be seeing you guys tomorrow.